Tim Barry from Holistic Web Presence here. One of the things that has been coming up a lot lately is where people have been having problems with their email account getting too big or just having problems synchronizing their email with Outlook. What I want to do is just show the simplest way of overcoming those problems. In other words, a better way of managing your email. And there are some pros and cons to do this. So I'm going to try and show the pros and the cons and show you how I do it and what I consider to be at least the best practice as works for me when I manage my email that allows me to not have these running out of size problems or synchronizing problems. First thing to understand is the core setup. So here I am using Outlook and I'm accessing my email account, Tim Barrett Holistic Web Presence, in Outlook, but it's actually on Zoho and I'm synchronizing my Outlook with the actual email service on Zoho. So what I could choose to do is I could choose to log into my email account in my browser. So this is the Zoho interface and this is exactly the same thing. This, here's a specific email, for example, I'm clicked on and I'm in my inbox and I'm in Zoho and that's in my browser. And you can kind of see what's there. And if I look at exactly the same thing, here's my inbox and here's exactly the same email and what it looks like when I'm in Outlook. Now what's happening is I'm pulling in my emails into Outlook because Outlook is a convenient way for me to read and send and forward and manage my emails. The problem is that the more emails that come into my inbox, if I don't delete them, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until I eventually run out of space. We've got some clients that are up in the gigabyte space because they don't delete anything from their inbox. And maybe you don't want to delete anything. But as your email inbox gets too big, two problems occur. One is you can run out of storage capacity, so it's all effectively in the cloud when it's in your inbox. The other is your synchronizing process gets slower and slower and slower because the system, IMAP, has to synchronize more and more emails. So what do I do to overcome that? I simply use personal folders. So everything in Holistic Web Presence is stored in the cloud online and it's available to me via the browser. On the other hand, if I store it in a personal folder, so here's my personal folder, lots and lots of different personal folders there. These are actually stored on my computer. So if I wanna get it out of my inbox, a simple way for me to do that is literally just drag it and stick it in a folder somewhere. So I'm just gonna stick it in pending for no particular reason. I just want you to be able to see what that looks like. So you literally just drag and drop it into the folder. When I click on this, you can see that that email is now in that folder. What I've effectively done though, is if I go back here, it's not there anymore, it's not in my inbox. So I've removed it from the cloud, I've removed it from the email system, it is no longer there. Now, if I go look at my browser, it looks like it's still there until I refresh the browser. So what I'm gonna do is just refresh it. And you will see that it is no longer there. Once I've refreshed my browser, it is gone. That's all there is to it. So all you're essentially doing is dragging things from your inbox and putting them into an, a folder that's actually on your computer. Now, one thing that may confuse you is these are just favorites. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize this so we can see the actual folders. So here's my personal folders and here's my online folder and you can see my inbox. Now I can create a folder in here. If I do, it's gonna be online or I can create a folder in my offline folders, my personal folders, in which case it's gonna be here. Creating a folder is as simple as saying new folder and we're gonna call this one test just so that you can see the process of creating a folder. There's test. Now you can organize, you can have one folder and put everything in it or you can do what I do and organize your folders around topics or clients or whatever you want and file all your emails as suits you. That's just a personal organizational preference. And any email I want is as simple as dragging and dropping and putting them in the appropriate folder. It's now not online anymore, it's offline. It's really that simple. One thing that may help you understand this a little bit better is to be able to distinguish clearly is to understand when something is an online folder this one and an offline folder. And the simplest way to do that is to just right click, say open file location. And let me show you the result. Here is file location. It shows you where it is on your computer. If it's a PST file, then it's on your computer. So you can see that one. Now let's look at your online folders. So I'm going to click on this one. And this one is an OST file. OST files are online. That means that everything is stored in the cloud and you've synchronized with it. If it's there, 
then it's in the cloud and that's when you have problems and you run into size restrictions. If it's in your PST file, then the only restriction you've got is the size of your computer. So if you're unsure which is which, then that's all you've got to do is right click on it. PSTs on your computer, OSTs online. So you want to move everything that you want to store into your PST file so it's stored locally on your hard disk. Now there's some pros and cons on this. If you store something in the cloud in your online folder, then the advantage of doing that is if your computer was to crash and you were to lose everything on your computer, it would still be there online because it's in the cloud. The downside is you've got storage limits that you can keep in the cloud. And the more you have there, the more problems you're going to have because you're trying to synchronize everything with your Outlook, with your computer. So if you store things locally on your, on your computer in your PST file, the advantage is you've got no size restrictions. You can store as much as you want without having to try and synchronize everything. You're not synchronizing things in your personal folders. The downside is if your computer was to crash, you'll lose it. So the caveat is if you're going to store things locally, it's very important that you back up your computer regularly. Maybe have a backup service so that if there was a problem, you wouldn't lose all of your emails. But it does mean your email system is going to work much more efficiently. If you don't do that, if you store everything in your online folders, it's going to get bigger and bigger. You're going to have more IMAP issues and you're going to run out of space. If you really want to store everything in the cloud and you want to effectively using your email system as a, as a form of backup, then you're better off using something like Microsoft Exchange rather than trying to use IMAP. IMAP really isn't great at storing very large numbers of emails or emails that have very large attachments. So it's really just a question of drag and drop, put it in the right folder, and that's all there is to it. So it's just taking the time to do it. One last point is when you're doing this, let's go back to my inbox. So there's my inbox online. You now what you can do is you can select a whole bunch in one go and you can drag the whole lot and put them into a folder. So you don't have to do them individually. You can just take a whole lot, stick them in there. And if you do do a very large number, be prepared, it'll take a little while for it to store everything because it's actually moving the email from online to offline. But if you're dealing with small quantities like this, it's virtually instant. Hopefully that helps.